What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we've got Alex with us. Gonna do a little review on his sick drift car. I'll do a, a quick little montage now of the car. Let me just put that in there. Sick, innit? <laughs> Proper Freshy, sick. Mate. Been wanting to do this for a while. Yeah, Absolute it. beast. I guess I'll start with the shell. Should we start yeah, with the shell? Yeah, go on the outside and then work our way in. All right, easy. I mean, there's we don't really want to look at the end, but it's okay. Nah, it's still nice. It's after. fine. <laughs> uh, so this is uh, my first ever car from back in the day. I bought it in 2017. Crashed it loads, sold it, missed it, bought it back. Uh, had loads of welding done to it because it was a rust box. A lot of welding done to yeah, it. Loads of welding. It's a new way car. Too, way too, yeah, exactly. Brand new car. It's a 99 316i slick top, silver cube. Uh, it's Titan silver from factory, but at the moment there's about maybe 12 different silvers on it, something like that. Obviously, we've got the three, three spokes, spokes, man. These right. are so fresh. Has to be. So these are um, these are 16 by seven and a half ET. 35 I think they were guys. so I have like stacks of spaces if you come in the back There's two spaces. All right. This is the hub Jeez. <laughs> 130 mil and 115 mil focus on uh, For them to fit under these <laughs> plastic arches. Um, that is fat <laughs> Yeah, way too like literally what It's perfect now though. It looks I have decent. these other um, 16 by nines that are like some almost negative offset and they fit perfectly with yeah. the spacer so it just shows that literally the offset is all that matters. Yeah, they're so f you don't see them very often though. Like, oh, yeah. not a lot of people run the three spokes, but they actually look sick. These uh, came up on marketplace, and they were like a two and a half hour drive away. And I saw them midday on a Sunday, and I was like, "Bro, are you about? I'm them. coming. I'm like <laughs> starting to drive towards you right now, because you just don't see them. Nah, you just like don't see that. every now and then on JDM stuff you see it, but yeah. you never see it on the on the Beamers. Do you? These are actually period. As far as I can tell, these are like period correct, yeah. like aftermarket wheels for a three series from back in the yeah. day, because they're five by one twenty, and the center bore is for a three series. So they were built for a bit. Now the offset as well, the size as well is yeah. three series. That's sick. What um, steering stuff are you running on this? Is it stock or you got stuff changed on it? Oh, uh, okay, yeah. So that this is actually very stock. In fact, it's got stock knuckles, uh, stock hubs. It just has the E46 lower arms. That's it. They're like 25 mil extended, I think, aren't they? Like, I think that's what it is. I think yeah. this is what we discovered on that. Yeah. No, I think maybe it was 20. Was it? Yeah, it's it around was, there. Like yeah. no one like knows. I think there's like different versions Either as way, well. We have actually a video where we proper measure it. Yeah. It was around. Check his 20. channel. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, and on these uh, on the free spokes, I didn't say I just run 195, 45, 16, which is the tire that fits the nicest on the seven and a half. And these are just budget. 
yeah. our telly tires the most random thing the cheapest 195 45 16 i could find do you get any understeer understeer with the cheaper tires or do you not notice it i won't lie these specific budgets they do really well for understeer like they're super predictable like they have a really like flat grip pa like yeah. pattern if that makes sense like you can kind of feel when they're going to lose grip and you can just like let off or like clutch kick to reinitiate or whatever yeah they're good yeah. i can't really complain good for in the wet and dry tire, yeah. cannot complain one thing but, uh, but yeah, anyway i want to tell the story about this uh quarter <laughs> panel actually because <laughs> this is the funniest part when i bought the car back before the welding was done to it the start of 2021 the previous owner had wall tabbed a fence like mid-air there was some clip i don't know was that birmingham wheels wasn't it was um, someone saying Birmingham or not Where oh was no it? i think the, was the first there was there was two crashes there was one at order shot maybe, oh, yeah uh which is like a banger track basically. yeah sketchy um, <laughs> then there was another street crash where he like flew up off a curb and like wall tap midair like some beautiful crash do you know what i mean like some proper stuntman shit. Yeah. Uh, but this quarter panel was wasted yeah so this is why i have to run over fenders it looks much nicer now compared to before for sure but they're, they're factory size over fenders as well they're not like extended or anything no, are they dude, these are like proper extended they're oh like are they oh really it's kind of bad i don't like that i actually prefer sog body yeah. but this quarter panel was wasted so i didn't really have a choice the bumper matches up nice though like a lot of them the bumper here yeah. it looks a bit sketchy but yeah. like the cable tie is doing its job there <laughs> the, the bumper is literally actually gutted it's detached from the bumper bar oh really so it's literally just hanging by zip ties the zip ties up <laughs> this is another way to mount your bumper Mate, drift car isn't it yeah <laughs> zip ties save look it good from really far away yeah <laughs> But yeah, man, we've got this. I think it's a Huxley roof wing. Huxley, yeah. Uh, it's one of the previous owners put it on. Oh, traffic. All right, we've the got the. Yeah. Got the electric beamer. Oh, sick! Like, yeah. They're flying away. Look at yeah. this. <laughs> they wish they had a proper yeah. engine in theirs. Yeah. Imagine. We've got this lovely painted yeah. fender here. Don't worry yeah. about that. This is actually from one of the first crashes I did in it. In fact, I got this is a wing from a left the wing and the nose cone on this car at the moment are from a left hand drive 320 European import convertible. This was a Romanian car. These <laughs> wings and nose cone come from a Romanian import convertible. <laughs> Trust me, I picked the parts off it myself. <laughs> Like, I love the yeah. little the little matching dent on there. It's yeah, yeah. Nice. This is from if you can imagine, this whole corner was absolutely pushed, pushed in. in. Oh, yeah. So this is why all this, the bonnet was saveable. Is this, is this cable tied in as well? Oh, or is that course. just shoved? I'll show you. Oh, <laughs> let's go to the engine. Let's do the engine. Come on, the engine. This Come is your on. first car without cable ties around here. Yeah, these actually clip in nicely. Yeah. <laughs> because the nose cone is slightly bent, so they kind of get they, like wedged in. it in. So we're good. One thing I'm surprised about this car as well, for you especially. Yeah. That bumper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't run M Sport bumpers. I don't like M -Sport, <laughs> but funnily enough, this is like paying homage to my own uteness because back in the day, the, the cool thing to do to your SE car was, was have an M Sport. M -Sport yeah. So this is what I did to this SE car. I bought an OEM M Sport like Lux package bumper in matching Titan Silver for the car, and then crashed it and destroyed it. Okay. And this Zip same crash <laughs> was literally two weeks after, oh, like really? on two weeks after I put the car together with the brand new M bumper. They're mega bucks now as well, aren't they? They want That's stupid money for them. So this is absolutely the flex. It's actually yeah. the OEM Titan Silver yeah. M Sport bumper. Uh, That's it. From back in the day. I kind of like the guttedness of it as well. Yeah, like exactly. without all the plastic in there. That is inspired by Chelsea Denofa. Actually, back in the day, his compact, before he put the, what is it? Tube. Click tuning. Oh, click tuning. He put the click tuning like flary kit on it. But he did that. He gutted the, yeah. the fog light separation. Because every time I want to do something on the car, it's so annoying. All the plastic on there. Yeah, everything exactly. in the way with that, you just pop it off. Bro, done. Bro, literally, the bumper is attached by two 13s. Yeah. <laughs> one 13 here, one 13 there. The bumper comes off. Easy. Perfect. Um, so this is what we've got the beast, here, this mate. is the, um, the rare thing now, that's like gold dust, yeah, the M50, M50 right? yeah. to be fair, no one right. can afford them anymore, yeah, this is what I'm saying, the engine's probably worth more than the shell, yeah. like that. nice little decoration on there as yeah, well, you, know, you got to have something on there, isn't you? exactly, I actually, what I want to do, I was watching some Japanese videos, uh, and every, every Japanese person on their missile car, they have a super clean engine bay yeah they have, all tucked and everything yeah. yeah so i think i want to do something like that yeah here. i've been thinking about that as well it's gonna be kind of cute and this like, is get rid of all this as well yeah get rid of this try and tuck you're gonna relocate the battery i think i want to put the battery somewhere far away from the engine bay yeah um put it know. behind like the passenger seat yeah even the weight out a bit Oh shit, true. I can theory. Behind myself. Yeah. Or behind the passenger. Behind the passenger, because then when it's just you, it's sort of more evened out. 
might look into doing that. I need to find some relocation cables. Oh, yeah, nice boot we've got going on here. Yeah, this is proper. It's freshy. Oh yeah, no obviously. leaks. <laughs> yeah, it actually doesn't even leak. It's all right. <laughs> That's cool. But Pop. yeah, this is the two liter M50. So it's the Vanos 2 liter. So this comes out of a 1994 320i, which was actually a complete car that I forced, essentially forcefully took apart to steal the engine from. <laughs> but it's okay. That's in the past. We it's don't talk right. about that. Um, <laughs> it's in a nice car now, so that's what still I'm going. It's all good. All blessed. New radiator. Yeah, new rad. I put that in um, as I was putting the, the car back together this time around because obviously new cooling system. The, the You've actually got a bleed nipple. Yeah. <laughs> Of the last this week. Is, yeah, yeah, from the track. <laughs> the guy, this is an E46 bleed nipple. Works um, like. That was quite jokes. Yeah, wild. It's like a steam train. Yeah. <laughs> bro, yeah, it's just yeah. geyser. Yeah. So here we've got the, the these strut towers are reinforced uh, with E46 um, strut tower reinforcement plates underneath. And I'm running the HSD Duotech um, like standard spring rate setup. It's got with, the caster offset as well, isn't it? Yeah, it's got the caster yeah. offset on the top hat and it's got the camera adjustment. And I think that my camber at the moment is maximum positive. Yeah. Just for make it fit nice. Yeah, just good fit. Yeah. and like I don't know better steering some people say though this is something I've heard through the grapevines is that HSDs feel like complete aids compared to BCs oh which, yeah I don't know I haven't, yeah. I haven't tried BCs yet so I ain't I got know. the pocket for that <laughs> but as you can see I've got my HSDs on this car and they came off my other the, black coupe, black coupe which is yeah something we can talk about later yeah uh, <laughs> But I'm thinking to try and splash with the BCs for that car so then I can tell the difference yeah. and I'll have like the less you know, that would be I mean, fresh though. Yeah, we'll have to see. They're like the dream coilovers. Exactly. That's just the end fresh. of the day, just stock in it. We Iron block these, aren't they? The... Iron block, Iron yeah. Iron block, yeah. Turbo. Iron block, two litres. So... When, when's there going to be a little snail on there then? Oh, <laughs> yeah, you know what? I have thought about that. Yeah. But I do really like the NA vibe. Yeah. It's more reliable this way though. That's it what is. I always thought. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I started it up, it's ran like sh This is the thing. I think with the turbo, it's just going to add so much issues. Because yeah. I like to let my car sit and just don't touch them for way too long. So a turbo setup is bound to go wrong yeah. just sitting in it, especially yeah. one that I f put together myself. <laughs> uh, it would be held together with cable ties. <laughs> yeah, bro, exactly. What? It's <laughs> V-band now, forget yeah. that shit. Zip tie that shit, man. Plastic zip ties on the turbo <laughs> does the job. <laughs> All right, should we check the interior? Yeah, it can't be <laughs> The interior is complete trash right now. Um, I like the stock vibes, though. Yeah. you got door cards. Yes. Now, the only... I'll tell you. There's one plastic clip at the front that comes loose sometimes. And the other way this door card is held on is this one wood screw. <laughs> nice. All right, straight through. And I made sure to get the material. Yeah, so pull it stretch tight. it out so yeah. it looks good. <laughs> yeah. Black um, carpet though, I'm jealous. Yeah, black carpet. Don't worry about the fact that it was half cut out in the oh, back yeah. for no reason. Yeah, what is the point of that? Don't, I don't I've know, even bro. left my back in. Yeah, exactly. Just absorb some of it. Uh, when I got this back car back, yeah, it had no back seats, and I actually have a parcel shelf for it now, so I need to put that in. Um, oh yeah, this is a grey liner, isn't it? Because you mentioned about the black liner in mine, I just yeah. thought that was normal. Have the sport yeah. liner. But yeah, anyway, stock steering wheel, uh, stock seats. Is that a 36 steering wheel? Yes, that yeah. is an early saloon steering wheel. Like, yeah, early I don't think I've seen wheel. that one before. They normally have, well, the one out of mine was the M Sport horrible, chunky one. I don't yeah, really like that. Yeah, the M3 looking one, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Don't worry, man. The interior is just in shambles That's right now. I'm still though. putting it together. The car doesn't have a sound system, doesn't have a radio. It's still got this weird push to start thing I need to sort out. <laughs> the standard E36 glove. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, mine actually works, really? which is rare, That's yeah. Good. That's nice. <laughs> this is, to be fair, the only car that it used to work, but one of the many owners just. just Destroyed it. Up and they just it. start smashing it, don't they? Yeah, and it just no stops working. That. No violence, man. Yeah. These cars respond to niceness. It's all right. You don't see your stock interiors on drift cars nowadays. That's what I'm saying, man. The stock yeah. interiors are good shit. Checking the boot. There's nothing really special here. It's just gutted. That's all reinforced under there as well. Isn't oh it? yeah, all reinforced strut yeah. tower bar. Because you already know this is the car that taught me that this, the coupes just destroy these shock yeah. towers. I'm um, gonna have to do that on mine, I think. Yeah, yeah, or, definitely. Or at least get this to give it a bit more For support sure. as well. Yeah, yeah. If if they're fine right now, if you just get a strut brace like that you'll be good man yeah because then the max speeding ones on the rear i've got mate it's like yeah, poof, like it feels nice. like the back just jumps all the time bit sketchy i but. have to replace the boot as well you can see this one <laughs> to be fair this is a silver boot to begin with that someone They've painted repainted. red and then oh, i had yeah. to repaint it back to silver on the outside so whatever i need to fix this because it's like really horrible finish but. i love the plate when you're going along it's just like flapping just around, around. <laughs> you have to man like do you know what I mean? What number play? Who the cares badges on the upside down, mate. Yeah. 
on purpose. The front one is as well. And oh, on the really? Wheel. <laughs> it's a little theme I do. Sick. I love the cutout on the bumper as well. The, the bit of plastic missing. Yeah. I don't know why. It looks it. sick. It looks cool. I'm thinking to maybe cut these teeth off, but they yeah. kind of look cute. Yeah. And I think that I want to get some like proper shotgunny looking pipes mm. coming out the back too. Yeah. I've yeah. got a stock back box now, so I'm going to probably let's, put that Let's on talk about your exhaust situation. Oh, God. Do you want to hear it? <laughs> I'll turn it on. Don't stand behind it. <laughs> It kind of sounds good though. And yeah. obviously, yeah, we've got the. Mine's got the hand. same issue though, isn't it? <laughs> that was sick. It's so bad. It's, you just it's cleared running. all the leaves. Yeah, yeah. That jokes. It's running super rich, and it's, yeah. it's an open mid pipe right now. My back box fell off on the track. Yeah. <laughs> at the moment it doesn't have any uh, anti-roll bars and I hate how it drives so like some of the things that I'm probably gonna do soon is put some anti-roll bars in it I have some spare stock ones that I might chuck in uh, obviously the exhaust the diff is floppy because it's when it whiny when it or something oh, yeah. yeah it's whining very badly I think that maybe if I just change the oil in it it might be all right yeah uh, but because it's, it's got what's it got the 318 rear end still in it isn't it uh, yeah it still yeah. has a small case rear end in it I think that after all these years it still has the correct 338 small case 316 yeah. in it with small case shafts yeah don't break the small case sh uh, shafts you know what so far we've been okay and I'm not gonna lie I'm pretty sure that it's completely due to the HSDs because the shock and spring oh, yeah. like uh, compression to like rebound uh, spring rate just takes all of it out of right. it. They actually work so well together. So it the suspension actually is doing its job It's not sending any impact through the shaft because I've never had any problems with this coilover setup on the black coupe Which I drove the shit. Yeah. Let's be honest. That's medium. It's weight. down to uh, I think the camber as well If you're not running too much camber because exactly. if they're really so cambered, the yeah as well There's yeah. lots of things you can do to combat breaking yeah. shafts and diff, but so far knock on wood in it <laughs> It's been all right. <laughs> this thing is fine that's fresh. This thing definitely does its job at the track as well. Yeah, it's all right. You gotta drive really hard. <laughs> yeah. <it's> cool. <laughs> no, this thing gets down. It's all the clutch well. kicks. <laughs> yeah, oh. The clutch kicks. This is what I do it for, bro. That's yeah. how you. That's how you get your rage out. You yeah. know what I'm saying? <laughs> Nothing else to say. There's. I have some plans for it visually. It's just gonna get better and better, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's what that's I'm saying. Sick. I'm just trying to clean it up and make it nicer yeah. and nicer because I'm trying to keep this thing. You know what I'm yeah. saying? It's not like gonna be a flip car. Or yeah. Anything. And you got the other coupe, which is you'll be doing yeah. at some point. That thing is. <laughs> It's, it's coming. I'm still putting together ideas for that thing. Yeah. It's gonna be nice. It's gonna be a proper like sexy, like stancy looking clean drift car. Yeah. But it doesn't look like a piece of shit. Nah, mate. This I, I personally love like the not perfect vibe. Yeah. Like too, when, when they're clean, you sort of like you feel like you'd be worried to yeah. absolutely send it. Of course, but this is why it's gonna be joke because I'm actually gonna full send it and I'm yeah. just gonna rinse my money <laughs> on like repairing the cosmetics yeah. more than the mechanical shit. Cause so it looks so nice. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, this is this is like a basically a beta sort of missile like yeah a fun car a fun car yeah. exactly not and care about so much yeah precisely what is inspired by mainly is like Noriara's A eighty six that like obviously that thing's a proper rust box in it whereas yeah. this is not as not bad. anymore but the vibe is the same like you kind of just jump in you just drive it and, and send you're good. it yeah. yeah it's quite stock obviously this is like this is road legal so yeah. you can street drive it to it yeah. from the track which is what I prefer doing. I don't like the trailer my car. Nah. I prefer to drive it because that's part of the experience. Yeah, exactly. Um, you got to pray you make it back. Exactly. <laughs> and I mean, plus the fact that it's like road legal keep like makes me put in the effort to make it look together. Yeah, and not exactly. Like a complete piece of shit. Yeah. So it's always going to be fun. Yeah. No, it's fresh. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you check out Alex's channel as he's got loads of videos building all of this, his coupe, and absolutely ragging the hell out of these cars. Yeah. <laughs> he does loads of BMW stuff, so make sure you go check it out. I'll put it on the screen and in the description. Oh, yeah. I'll actually write your Instagram correctly this time. I don't know if you oh, noticed, yeah, I yeah, spelt yeah. it wrong. It I really. Yeah, I realized like a week later and I was like, no way did I just spell that <laughs> I didn't even notice it bro, I watched it. Yeah, because yeah. you can probably spell it both ways, I don't know. I don't know how to spell English, I'm terrible, so. But yeah, make sure you check his channel out. Like, comment, subscribe, and all them things. You want to say anything? This is it. Peace. Peace. <laughs>